Fuel trim technology can mystify many technicians. Today we're going to break things down and discuss the day-to-day -day aspects of interpreting fuel trims. This video is sponsored by LaunchTech USA. Solutions with the power to perform fast and accurate OEM level diagnostics and repair. Visit LaunchTechUSA.com to learn more. Air fuel ratios on modern engines can range from 13 to 1 all the way up to 22 to 1, but don't hit the panic switch just yet. No matter what the air fuel ratio, there's a fuel trim cell that addresses each specific one. Let's go into the garage where Andrew has a vehicle set up with the LaunchTech X431 throttle. Thanks, Jen. The important thing to remember when you're using a scan tool like this LaunchTech X431 throttle is that you can chart and graph the long-term and short-term fuel trim to get a better understanding of what's going on with the engine. The long-term fuel trim, that's established over a longer period of time and the engine running. This value is used to calculate when the engine is in open loop operation and is just warming up and it can't use the oxygen sensors to properly trim the fuel for the engine. But the short term, well that's responsible for acceleration, idle, and the in the moment now tuning of the fuel trim. For example up here I have bank one of this engine set up to run the long term and short term fuel trim and I'm graphing it. We can compare these two together. Let's start the engine. When I start the engine, you could see the long-term fuel trim, it doesn't move that much, maybe just a little bit. But the short-term fuel trim, as I blip the throttle, it goes up and down. Also, when it closes, well, it leans out the fuel quite a bit. When I engage the throttle and press it down, well, the fuel trim goes up in value. And Jen, as we all know, not all manufacturers do fuel trims the same way. For example, at Toyota, may have a different way of calculating the fuel trim compared to a Ford. Toyota may have a number in the thousands or one hundredths to where a Ford or other domestic vehicle may have it as a percentage. Graphing the long term and short term on your scan tool helps you to better understand the two values. This way you can judge it with your eye and also with the numbers according to the PIDs and service information. This way you can make an accurate diagnosis if the long-term and short-term fuel trim numbers are within parameters. But the thing to keep in the back of your mind when you're thinking about fuel trims is fuel trims are also dependent on the amount of oxygen going into the engine. If a fuel trim is off, it could be an indication that there's either too much or too little air getting into the engine. This works both ways. There could be a vacuum leak in the intake manifold or there could even be a restriction at one of the intake valves due to a carbon deposit. So just keep that in mind when you're diagnosing long-term and short-term fuel trims. Back to you, Jen. Thanks, Andrew. So there you have it. Look for more information on using your scan tool for fuel trim diagnostics at techshopmag.com. And thank you for watching TechShop's Tool Minute. You can also find more Tool Minute videos on TechShop's YouTube channel.